Okay, so today we're gonna draw a different version of Luca, but I'm also gonna teach you how I get that perfect square. So you wanna take two pieces of paper, so this is just a regular paper, and what you do is you are going to take one of the papers and put it right here on that bottom part, put it right in that corner, and on the top of your page, do a line across. This is where you're gonna actually gonna be cutting it off. So that now has a perfect square. So you just take it, flip it, and it makes the perfect square. So now what you're going to do is on this square, now in each corner, you wanna put a dot. So one dot, two dot, up here, three dot, four dot. Now you're going to take your big Sharpie and take a ruler or something, a line that's straight, and you're gonna go from one dot to the other. Don't go past it. Yeesh, trying to make it perfect here. Make a line across. Oop, looks like there's a racer gooblet there. So now what you're gonna do, turn your paper and go to the next dot. So you're gonna go here. The next dot, all right. Now, we're gonna do the next paper. The next dot, and then stop. And now the very last one. Go from here to here, and then stop. So, as you can see, you now have a perfect square, just like this one. You cut the bottom part off and you can start your sketching. So we're gonna get sketching on our Luca. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with putting the water line in. So you're gonna start up higher on one side and bring it over to the other side, okay? And now we want to do his face. His face is like a rounded square. So it's kind of flat on either side, but then you're going to round it off. Perfect job. So I'm going to do a line down the middle and a line right in the middle. So where this will eventually gonna get erased. So we're gonna do circles. So we are going to do right on this line, right in the middle, one circle. And then inside there, kind of make it a slightly cross side. Like looking over on this side, you're gonna do the same thing in the center of this one. This is gonna go right on that water line. So we have one circle. And two circles. And then right in the middle of this line, which I kind of went off it's not necessarily the middle. We are gonna put his jelly bean, big jelly bean nose. So now you can erase this center part. We don't need that no more. We can erase this center part. So that is done. Okay, so then now you can fix your little lines. Now his nose is it's not closed at the top. So you can erase that so it's not closed. And then we're going to touch these up so they connect. And when you sharpie it, it's gonna make it just come together and look great. So inside here, we're gonna do the shiny and the pupil. You wanna make it same on both sides. So we have a shiny and a pupil. Okay, so this will be sharpied in right here. Super job. So now let's do his, uh, his little cute smirk. So he just has like a side smirk. Cute. And then his eyebrows, you wanna come it's kind of in between both of these. We have his eyebrows. So do the same thing on this side. Excellent, and if you want, you can put some eyebrow hair in there. And I'm gonna do some on this side. Super job. Okay, so. Now he has his awesome hair. So right on this spot, right about there, you can put a little mark there. This is where his, his hair line's gonna go. So you can come in there and make it kind of like a little bowl shape and then you can erase. 
So it's gonna look like this, bloop. So off of that point, this is going to be where his awesome curly hair is. Now this part is gonna go out, come around and swirl. So then all of his hair is gonna be swirling over to the edge. So you can put in some hairs so it looks like it's swirling. Make some, you know, farther apart, some closer together. And then this part right here, let's make it swirl. We're gonna swirl it in there. And let's make a ultimate swirl here. So we can erase this part right here so we can finish off his awesome swirl. All right, so coming off of this side right here, right in the middle, this is gonna be another swirl. It's gonna come down and swirl and then go back to the head. So now you can add some more hair. Whoop. Excellent job. All right, and then down on the side, let's do some more fun swirls. And let's do another one right here. And then we'll have another one right here. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna put this side of the hair in. So let's bring some down. And then we're gonna make a couple more lumps. And then we'll add in all the hairs after we do his finger. And let's put another curly Q coming right off of there. And like that, good job. So if you want, you can add some hairs. And a couple of swirls in here. Super, oh, so cute. And now his ear, it's gonna be half gill fin and half ear. So we're gonna start with an ear, but then it doesn't end up that way. So let's start with an ear over here. But under the water, we all know that he turns in to a sea monster. So we're gonna make the sea monster on the bottom half, okay? Cute. And then his neck's gonna come right off of the middle and this is gonna be his shoulder. And then his other hand is gonna be waving high. So we're gonna make it come up. And then up here. All right, so under here, that's gonna be where we're gonna be putting all of his scales. But then up here, I want you to put in, it's kind of like a rounded square. And now we're gonna put his fingers coming off of it. So his thumb's coming out. And now his fingers are gonna come off the top. So we have one finger, come all the way down to where the, the square is, two finger, square, three finger, square, four finger. And then you want to erase inside of here and then that will make his fingers connecting. And then we wanna open this up right here. So we're just gonna erase that, okay? Look at that. Now, we're barely gonna put some Sharpies in here, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do the colored pencil. So when you end up doing the colored pencil, you're gonna be making scallops. So then now when you do the next row, you want it to touch the middle, the middle, the middle of the last one, and the same thing here. So now it's gonna go and touch the middle. Boing, boing, boing. Next one. Um, this one's the very tip of it. Boing, boing, boing. So we're just gonna keep going. All right, let's keep it moving. And you're gonna go all the way up till it gets to the water line. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, so it goes up water line. It doesn't go all the way here. Don't, when you do this, we're through colored pencil. You don't need to have harsh Sharpie lines. Same thing over here. We're gonna do a scalloped edge. And then it's gonna go on the wing, wing, touching, and then go out here, okay? Ooh, it's looking fantastic. Now in the sky, we're gonna be putting some clouds in. Big poofy clouds. Put another one up here. And just a little baby one over here. Okay, what else am I missing? Mmm, 
We also have some bubbles. So if you want to add some little bubbles in the water, that would be great. Now, after I do this, I'm going to sharpie it. And then after I sharpie it, I'm going to show you how I colored it to get that look. If you'd like to learn how to color to make it look more realistic, then keep watching. And I also have fun facts, which are amazing. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to get your baby, well, actually, get your big sharpie. We're just going to start with this and make this go. This is going to be the thick one. Because that's kind of like the center of the separation and then now the rest of it you're gonna do thin the finely thin tip and then go around the outside and then do a sharpie so let's get going on Luca On the scales, we're just gonna slightly do a couple of lines. Do not do all the lines. It's just an indication that they're scales. And then we will end up putting in pencil marks right in there. Okay. So just put a little bit here and there. And now you want to get to your word. Oh, you know what I forgot, guys? I forgot. Little fins coming off here, so I want you guys to draw the fins in, come out and over, and then we've got the fins. I can't believe I forgot that. I forget anything else? I think that's it. So now you want to take your, oh, also above the eyes. Do you guys see above it where I made it um, thicker here? So just the indication of lashes, even though he's not a girl, still we'll just it just makes it look cool. Okay, a little bit on the outside here. So now you want to take your thicker sharpie and sharpie in the eyes and then this one. Then we're going to go around. So this looks great and all, but if you want to go to the next level, you want to go around the outside and make it extra thick, okay? So take your big eraser and erase your lines, but don't erase the, the scales. So I am actually going to color half of the page so you guys can see. So we're just going to go right down the middle. I am just coloring half so you guys can see how I did it. So we're going to start with the eyes. And I started with brown. So on the top here where the color is, you want to press down really hard and make a little edge all the way around. Oops. It happens. All the way around. And then the top part, it's going to be pressed down really hard here. Then we're going to put some more colors in there. So you do the same. Oh, no, we're not doing that side. We're just doing one side. And now you can take the um, light brown and then now lightly come in here to give it a little color we're actually going to add some so it's light brown then we are going to do yellow on the bottom but we're not done yet we're going to add some red in there so you have yellow and then now you want to come in with your this is red or orange red doesn't matter close enough and then you want to just lightly come in here it's just giving it a burst of red in there see how that looks really cool cool so now you're going to take your gray and go along the outside, the trim of it. Along the bottom. And then I'm just going to come in here a little bit so it makes it look like it, it's an actual shiny. Shiny, shiny. Okay, good job. Okay, so now I want you to take your peach, color the whole face. If you need to pause at any time, that's great. Let me come on back and see what happens. 
So color the whole face peach or skin color, whatever you can find that's close enough. I'm just coloring the whole face here. But only up to the waterline because remember, he's a sea monster down below. So we don't want to color in there. His hand is peach color, so we can color color that. Just the top part. All right, fun facts. Okay, Luca isn't just any boy. So we all know that. But he he yearns for adventure. He's full of energy and he has quite the imagination. Um, but he's not just a boy, he is a sea monster. Ooh. And Luca was supposed to have been released on the big screen on June 18th, 2021. But due to COVID, um, so now you wanna take tan, they just released it on Disney Plus. That's where I saw it, okay. So now you wanna go around the outside where the Sharpie is, push down a hard and then come softly. And then you wanna go around the eyes, the same thing, giving it shadow. It's gonna make those eyes really pop. <sighs> so just keep working it around the eye. Go underneath the eyebrow. We're giving it a touch of a shadow under there. And then you wanna bring that together just a little bit and go along the hairline up here. And then you can come down and bring it in and go underneath that curl hair. Curled hair, so cute. Okay, now you can go around the hand, go around the whole outside. And as you come in, do less, do lightly. Go around all the fingers. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so the face does need a touch more color. We're gonna put a little bit of pink and red in there. Oh, his nose too. So let's get the pink. So this is where his cheeks are. So it's gonna come down in here. So it looks like he's got a little bit of rosy. And his nose, he's got kind of like this cute red nose. So we're just going to, oops, went too far into that one. And along the hair, I just gave him like a touch of sun. Cause he's out in the sun a lot. Okay, super job. So now we can do the green. So down below, this is just yellow green. I'm gonna color the whole thing yellow green and I'm gonna come back and give it some more colors. We'll start with yellow green. You're gonna color all of him yellow green. What else do I know? Okay, so in the movie, he his job is to herd the fish goat. So take them out so they can eat during the day. That's when he daydreams and explores and he brings them back in every night. All right, so now we are going to use the color. Anything that, this is aqua green, or you can use aqua. So go around the outside, give it a little edge to it. I'm pressing down harder. Now go a different direction. Now lightly go inside. I'm gonna do his whole body. So you do under the same thing. Go around all his body, especially under his chin. And then you now you can do his scales. So you're gonna go lump, lump, lump. So you're just gonna make your scalloped edge. We're just defining it. So you wanna do them. I'm pressing down hard on all of them. So the, did you know there's real goat fish? Yes, there's such thing as real goat fish and they are off the coast of Italy. That's what inspired it, so cool. Okay, so you wanna go along the edge here. Make all your little scallops. And along the side of his arm. Don't wanna forget that. Also, we want to come in here, push really hard here, and do his fin, gill, his gill fin, coming off his head. 
I'm gonna press harder around the edges. Okay, so what color I did add to this was yellow. So let's go a different color. This is just gonna brighten it up. So giving it some yellow all on his body, everything. So this is what I did. Gave it some yellow. And his fin right here is actually a blue. So let's use mm, light blue. So you can go along the edge and along some of these lines here, darker. And the rest is gonna be thin. So we're gonna color it very thin. Oh, also, okay. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your regular blue, go along this edge here. This is to look like he's in the water. I know you're going right over the image, but that's what I did. Right over the image, go along the edge here. And then as you come down, get lighter and lighter, okay? So it's pressing down hard, lighter and lighter to make it look like he's in the water. Go, you won't go around the bubbles. Bubble, 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 okay. So, oh, also, I want you to take the red. We're gonna do his nose. We're gonna give it a little bit more red in there. So go along here, a little more red. And I'm gonna put a little more color on his cheeks with the red. I need to make that pop out a little bit. Maybe I added too much, but that's okay. Never too much rosy cheeks. All right, so what's next is I just did light brown for his hair. So I'm gonna color his entire head light brown. Super job. Now you wanna press down harder. Actually, what you can do is you can come in with the regular brown. And so now, let's go in some of these lines. You're gonna press harder down, and especially along the edge here. That is my dog. She can hear the wind blowing, so she freaks out. Her name is Toto. Toto is freaking out. Nothing you can do about it. Just have to listen. Ooh. Now she just sneezed. Okay, so now we're gonna come in here, make some of these lines darker. Go around the edge. That looks good. So, the very last touch. Oh, what are we forgetting here? His eyebrows. So we wanna do the same thing do the light brown, and then we're gonna come in there with the regular brown. The regular brown's gonna go on the top part. And then don't forget, we're just gonna color some more in here. We're, we're also going to do a touch of yellow, red, and some black. But we'll start with this. So what I did was I took yellow and I went over all of the hair to warm it up because he's got a little sun kissed in there because he's out in the sun. So we're just gonna put a little bit of yellow in there, a touch of the red or red orange, and I'm just gonna be putting some just little touches of red. And you're like, well, that doesn't look like that. So what I did is I took the brown and you're gonna go, oops, drop something, harder along there, and as you come up, you wanna make it softer, because it does look like it is darker right along that edge here. And I did go in there with Sharpie, and I added a little bit extra Sharpie in there. Okay, what else am I missing? Oh, okay, so what you're going to do now is take the dark blue, and what it is very lightly, I went around, so I didn't touch the body, kind of just make it, emphasize there it is just lightly and then you're going to lightly color that in and as you want to go in there then you can just keep adding layers until you're satisfied with how dark it is but i am going to do darker at the bottom so as i get down to the bottom right down here super dark super hard 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 along this edge and make that darker you can go over it a couple directions. Try 
not to go over the bubbles. So you want to go over this, the bottom here. So go a couple directions to try to cover up the white in there. So keep working it. And then up here at the top, I used, um, this is a sky blue. So you, as down below, you're gonna press harder along the edge, and then I would kind of make it so there's like a line around, so it's, Luca's kind of glowing here. And then you're gonna press harder, and as you come closer to him, just don't go past that line. So I think that's about it and hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you.